Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, of course, and today I'm gonna do an unboxing of the JVR VAC 110. Uh, you've seen me do uh, videos and use the, the JVR VAC 100. I love that chamber sealer. But this here, the VAC 110, is gonna compete with some of the others out there like the VAC Master uh, VP215 and some of the others that are out there. And we're gonna do some comparison videos uh, down the road here with some of those other products. But right now, I'm gonna unbox this and show you what the JVR VAC 110 has to offer. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys, so before I get this out of the box, I just want to show you how it comes boxed. So this is a very heavy corrugated uh, cardboard, and it's all strapped in really nice. It's got these little uh, uh, pallet holders here so that they can actually use a, uh, a pallet jack to move this around without hurting the bottom of the box. And it's very, very, like I said, very sturdy, very thick. So even if uh, FedEx delivers this to you, you know, you're probably not gonna have to worry about it coming all banged up. So the straps are really tight. Like I said, I had this come on a pallet by, you know, with a, with a few other things, but um, the, the packaging is really, just like on the VAC 100, they got the packaging down on this to make sure it arrives to your house um, safe and sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these straps off, remove the box, and then we're gonna Take a look and see what's in here. So once the straps were removed, it pretty much just lifts right off here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Lift everything off so you can see. Make sure you have this thing set to where this is on the bottom, of course. So you got styrofoam and the corners. Let me show you the corrugated box, how thick it is. And it's very stiff, so it's not flimsy at all and you got these um, styrofoams in the corner so it's really not touching the sides of the box and there you have it guys look at that beautiful stainless steel I'm gonna turn this around because it's still sitting on this mini pallet jack part of the box and there you go it's a beautiful looking machine you got your um, uh, your controls here uh, pretty much you can control the time of your vacuum. You, this is actually set up where you can actually have a, a gas injector and that's mostly for commercial reuse. So it's not like um, a home user is gonna use uh, gas injection, but they do use that in commercial packaging of food just so it helps uh, with the, the preservation of meats and all that and vegetables. So it does have um, your stop button here, so if it's in the middle of a process, you can hit the stop button, it'll, it'll, it'll uh, shut off and then stop the process. You have your uh, vacuum gauge here, so you can watch the progress, make sure it gets vacuum all the way. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, very simple to use here. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in, but I just first wanted to show you what it looks like right out of the box. This is your lid hold down. Well, it comes with some sample bags, so that's always good when they give you some sample bags. It's actually got some four mil bags in here as well, which are a little thicker than the standard three mil bags. Got your um, instruction owner's manual and some spare um, gasket for around the, the lid, a spare Teflon tape for your seal bar, as uh, actually spare uh, seal um, the metal seal um, part for the seal bar and uh, a couple other things in here so looks like it's got a yeah a squishy test so what they test it with is like a little squishy bear so it comes with that just to show you they tested it it comes with your initial supply of uh, oil because this is an oil based pump just like the Backmaster 215 so it is an oil based pump it comes with your little funnel and your cord and it has two filler plates, which help you um, have to, you know, when you're doing smaller things, it actually fills up the space in the chamber. 
so you're not having to uh, uh, use as long of a seal time or a vacuum time, I'm sorry, as long as a vacuum time. And also, it'll pull a bigger, uh, a stronger uh, vacuum because it's having to pull out less air. So let's go inside here and just show you the seal bar here. So the seal bar goes all the way across the inside. So there's very little extra space in here. I mean, you can pretty much use all this space. And of course, you got extra space in the lid. So this is probably a good six inches or so, or at least five and a half to five and a quarter inches from the bottom of the uh, chamber to the top of the lid. So you could probably get a good size mason jars in here if you wanted to do mason jars, good size pieces of meat and roasts. Okay, this here is where your vacuum pulls from, right here, and this is where your auto starts. So what happens is once you drop your lid, it'll automatically start pulling a vacuum. When it pops open, it'll shut off. So when uh, you're wanting to store it, or travel with it, or move it around, you lock your lid down like this so that uh, it's not bouncing around on you. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in and see what it can do. All right, guys, before you fire this up and get it turned on, you're going to have to put some oil in it. And like I said, they send you enough oil to fill it up for the first time. And you can order oil directly from JVR on their website. So I suggest that when you or if you order this from JVR, go ahead and order a couple uh, quarts or pints of the oil just so you have it because you're going to want to change this at least every uh, six months or so, depending on how much you use it. There are instructions in the manual how, much, how often you need to change it. It usually goes by the amount of hours um, that you use the uh, chamber sealer. And what that does is gets the moisture out of the pump because the, the water and moisture will mix in with the oil. And if you change your oil out, your, your pump will last a lot longer. Well, I guess I should have showed you that. So here you go, your maintenance axis, it tells you right here. Just remove these two bottom screws. This will lift up, and then there is a uh, support arm that will straighten out and hold that up into place so you can um, do your maintenance, put your oil in, change your oil, what have you. So let me get these two screws off, and we'll get to it. All right, guys, so I got my two bottom screws off. I lifted the unit and I got my locking arm into place so this won't fall and you see where your oil access is right here and we're gonna go ahead and open this up it's kinda tight and we use our little funnel that they give you make sure you there's a little uh, aluminum foil Thing on the top here just go ahead and poke a hole in that and then put your funnel in and then just dump the oil in just make sure you monitor in that window how much is going in it might not it might not need this whole bottle And as you can tell on here, it tells you right here, this is the level you want it. So it's right in the middle. It's not all the way to the top, not all the way to the bottom. So right there in the middle. So right when the oil hits that, you're going to be fine. And it looks like this might be just the right amount of oil. And you're going to want to give it a minute because it does take a little time to get down into the bottom there see it's starting to move up so that's right there is all the oil that was in this bottle so it's right there at the uh, medium medium middle oil level and that's it really easy and then when it's time to change your oil you can actually take this uh, nut off and there's instructions in the uh, manual on how to do that and there's a hole in the bottom and you're going to want to move it to the side of the counter so that you can drain the oil out into uh, some kind of plastic container and um, go ahead and change that out and when the, the time to change it like I said it's usually it'll tell you in the manual how many hours and depends on how much moisture is in there if this turns cloudy like white that's the time to change that oil 
and then you take this screw off, drain it out, put the screw back in, and then put some more oil in it. So it's easy as that, putting the oil in, guys. Now we're done. We can go ahead and shut this thing up, just put the screws back in, and run a test run. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get this thing cranked on. Okay, the on switch is right here on the side. You just turn it, turn it one way or the other. One way to turn on, one way to turn off. It's pretty simple. So when it comes on, you're going to see these uh, two uh, just minus signs here on the, the time. And what it's going to do is you're going to want to go ahead and adjust it here. So here's what happens. You hit your setting, and it's going to move to the vacuum. So you can set your vacuum time. Well, let's just leave it at 30 seconds here. And you hit settings again. It'll actually give you time for gas but if you don't have uh, gas hooked up to it you can go ahead and hit setting again now it's going to give you your seal time I'm going to leave it at the one and a half that's kind of a standard if you have thicker bags you might want to do it for a little bit longer go ahead and hit setting again now this is the cooling time now this is going to be important when you're doing a lot of uh, product back to back okay you're going to want that uh, seal bar to be able to cool down in between sealing uh, your 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 products, because if it's not that thin metal uh, piece in there that, that heats up and to seal your bags will overheat and break. That's why they give you an extra one. So you got to make sure you give it plenty of, of time to cool down in between. So this gives it three seconds, and that's three seconds of cool time. Then it'll pop open. Then you can go to the next product. So. Um, it actually will probably go another two seconds before it heats up and seals again. So um, you don't have to worry about it overheating. But make sure you got that set to at least three. If you're, you're doing a lot of product, um, and especially if you're doing a, a longer seal time, heavier bags, you can increase that cool down period just to save the wear and tear on your seal bar. So let's go ahead and leave that. And we've got everything set, so it's all ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my lid and it's ready to go. So I got something in a, I got my Thermo Pro or Thermo Works um, in here. And we're gonna go ahead, put this in, make sure you guys can see. I'm gonna raise you up a little bit, I'll be right back. All right, that's a little bit better. So now you can see the top. So you can see my filler plates are in. I'm gonna go ahead and put my, um, bag in. I want to show you. Okay, there's two little clips here by the seal bar that are going to hold that bag in place. So what you can do is you put the bottom one in the clip and it's going to hold it in place and it's going to leave that uh, bag open just enough to where it's going to purge any of that air that's in there while it's um, pulling that vacuum. Um, sometimes you'll see bags start to really blow up and get really poofy in there uh, because it's not letting all the air get out of the bag because you got it pinched too much with the uh, seal bar. So just go ahead and put the bottom of the bag under those clips, put the others right on top, and then you just go ahead and drop it down. It'll start as soon as it hits that button, it'll start vacuuming, it'll start suctioning it down, and it's going to time it. We did 30 seconds, so it's pulling all the air out of the chamber. It's very quiet, so I'm going to get closer. You can barely hear that. It's a super quiet pump. Now the seal bar popped up to seal the bag. And it pops right open and there you have it guys all sealed up nice wide seal on here there you go that was a super quiet pump check it out check out the back 110 and the back 100 JBR website they also have two other models that are a little bit bigger so if you're in the market for a commercial type chamber sealer this is the one for you. It's a little bit, uh, um, the price point is a little bit better than some of the other competitors out there. And for what you get, you get a stronger pump, a quieter pump, 
A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, quality goes into this. 100% stainless steel inside and out, guys. So uh, check it out. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and check out the JBR vacuum sealers on JBR.com. And I'll see you again on the next fire and water cooking video.